Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program which intakes width and height of a rectangle from the user and thereby it will print the area of the rectangle. So before I practically demonstrate writing the Java program which intakes that width and height and then print the area, first let's understand what is a rectangle. Rectangle will look like this. Rectangle will have height. This is the height of the rectangle. This line is the height of the rectangle, whereas this is the width of the rectangle. When you provide, when the user provides this height and width of any particular rectangle, we can calculate the area of the rectangle. The simple formula for finding the area of the rectangle is height into width. That's it. Okay, height into width. If you calculate this height into width, this will give the area of the rectangle. Now let's write the program. So to get started, we'll intake, we'll intake both height and width from the user guys. So for that, in order to intake any value from the user into the program, we need to create an object for the scanner class. So I'm creating an object for the scanner class like this. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. So inside the scanner constructor, we have to give system dot in like this. And uh, hover the mouse on scanner and import the Java dot util. Done. Now we need to ask the user to enter the height, enter the height of the rectangle. Enter the height of the rectangle. Now, whatever the user will enter the height, right? We have to intake that. For that, we have to use scanner dot next int. You can see double also. Okay. If you if if you think that user is going to enter some double value, then you can use next double. Decimal value. If user is going to enter the decimal value, better use next double. Okay, that's fine. So here we'll give the height. This is the height of the rectangle. Or the mouse. I'm creating the variable called height. Done. Now we'll ask the user to enter the width of the rectangle. Enter the width of the rectangle like this. Now we need to capture this particular width from the user. For that, again we have to follow the same process. Scanner dot next double scanner dot next double like this. So hold the mouse, so it will return the double. So this is like a width of the rectangle, width is equal to. I'm just naming the variable as width, done. Once you get the height and width from the user for that particular rectangle, we need to find the, we need to write the logic for finding the area of the rectangle. So we'll simply write out, write down this one, system dot out dot print ln, the area of the, rectangle with is directly you can say is here you can say a plus in the circular brackets right height into width that's it height into width now before i run this program you see there is a warning coming here that is a resource leak as a best practice we need to close this scanner object case once you receive this uh, height of the rectangle and uh, width of the rectangle this is a perfect place where you can close this object. This is not mandatory guys. So as a best practice, you can close the object to resolve this uh, warning messages also at the same time. Now let's run this program, right click run as Java application. It's asking the user to enter the height of the rectangle. As a user, I'm going to enter the height as five. Now it's asking the user to enter the width of the rectangle. As a user, I'm going to enter the width as 10 and press enter. The area of the rectangle is height into width, that is, Height and the 50. Height into width, that is 50. So, guys, this is how we need to write the Java program, which will intake both width and height from the user of a particular rectangle and thereby print its area in the output console like this. So, that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye.